Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to fix this kind of error, which appears when starting a game or another application in Windows 10, 8 or 7. Most likely you have encountered this error when starting an application or a game you have downloaded recently. Don't worry! In today's video we will find out why it appears and show you all known ways to fix it. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you see such kind of errors, it means there are some software issues. The usual suspects are damaged files of the applications you are trying to start or system library files. And sometimes the only thing behind such error is a kind of software limitation. These files are involved in running the starting algorithm for an application, but there can be other reasons when you can't see a direct relation between the file and the problem. Basically, uh, there are several causes why this error appears. Compatibility issues, restricted access to start the application, game or program files damaged during the installation, especially when it was interrupted, antivirus limitations to start an application, damaged system library files, damaged hardware drivers, and now let's analyze what methods could be used to fix the error depending on the actual causes of the problem. So, how can you solve this error that you see when trying to start a game or another application? Here are some tips to try. Most compatibility issues come from the conflict between the operating system and the application you are trying to start. When the program or game have been designed for a certain operating system, but you try to install it on a different version. For example, the game was developed for Windows XP or Windows 7, but you installed and tried to start it on Windows 10. If this is the case, you are dealing with a classic compatibility issue. It can be solved easily. Right-click on the executable file, that is, the one having the .exe extension, select Properties, click on the Compatibility tab and check the box next to the line Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4 and select the proper operating system from the drop-down list. If it didn't help, then try another method. Another cause of this error is when access to the application is restricted and you need administrator rights to start a specific application. Try starting the application as administrator. To do it, right-click on the executable file and select Run as administrator, then confirm your choice. Another cause behind this error is damaged archives of the libraries required to perform the starting algorithm. In this particular case, there are failures, conflicts or missing Visual C++, DirectX and .NET Framework files. These libraries are required to start most applications, so you can be almost sure they are the root of the problem. All you need to solve the problem is to install the missing libraries or update the existing files. Quite a number of various applications and games require .NET Framework to be installed to your operating system. Without it, certain programs won't start and you'll see a warning saying that this component is missing, while games may just crash and show you this error. Installing this component doesn't mean you have to install anything, in fact. In the same location where you find the section Uninstall or Change a program, you will see Windows features. Just check the box and wait until Net Framework is downloaded and installed to your computer. After the installation, it is recommended to restart the operating system. Here is an important note. Don't install just the latest version of the system library, but all which are available. For example, the Visual C++ libraries from version 2005 to version 2015 should be installed. And you can read more in the system library page. Also remember that libraries may have been installed already, but work with errors because some of their files are damaged or missing. In this case, remove all their versions with programs and features and then reinstall them again. 
This method will solve the problem if it appeared in TeamSpeak application and it is recommended by the program's developer. In this case, you should try installing a different version of the app, for example, a 32-bit instead of the 64-bit. So just download and install the version with a different bitness. This error may also appear after the installation of a program was interrupted. If you are not sure the installation process was successful, remove the program and reinstall it. If it didn't help, find and download the installer from a different source. The one you used before might be damaged, and which is why you face this error when trying to start the program. Surprisingly, but another thing to get in the way could be your antivirus. Sometimes it recognizes the software methods applied by hackers to bypass the developer restrictions as virus activity. So, if you are using pirated software, you can see such errors even without a virus warning. If that's your case, disable the antivirus for the time period required to install the game. Otherwise, try to use legal software only. To make things even more complicated, the algorithms applied by antiviruses are very sophisticated, which makes the work quite unpredictable, so they may block any attempt to run a pirated copy of the application, even if it's completely healthy. One more thing to spot this error is damaged driver files. Special attention should be paid to graphics drivers. If updating them doesn't help, uh, then try removing the driver and uninstalling it. For this purpose, download the necessary driver in advance, paying attention to the graphics card model and manufacturer. Visit our channel for a detailed video tutorial by following the link in the description. This error may also appear because of the problems with system files. In this case, I recommend checking the system with the integrated utility SFC. Launch the command prompt as administrator. To do it, enter CMD in the search field, right-click on the command prompt shortcut and select Run as administrator. Type SFC, scan now and press Enter. The utility will scan the system files and fix any errors it can find automatically. Bear in mind that this process may take some time. If none of these methods help, you may need to remove some files manually before installing the required features. Open the folder SysWow64, which you can find by following this path. Find this file and delete it. As the file access is denied, the chances are you can't just remove it. You will have to stop the computer in safe mode or with a boot disk. When the first file is removed, find another one and delete it as well. After that, you should reinstall Microsoft Visual C++. Depending on the version of your operating system, the 32-bit or the 64-bit. In the description below this video, you will find all the links to the files I have mentioned today. In the same folder, Search for two more files and delete them too. If you can't find them, well, then do nothing. Follow this link and download the package. Remember the bitness of your operating system. Install it and then restart your computer. Open the same folder and search for this file. Remove it and follow the link to download the DirectX 9 update. Install it and restart the computer again. Check if the game starts. If it doesn't, look for this file. Remove it, download the update and install it. If things haven't changed for better yet, follow the same path and find this file. And this file. If there are no such files, well, just follow the next link and install this package. Once again, don't forget about the bitness of your operating system. After that, restart the computer and check if the game can start now. 
And that's all for today. I hope this video helped you to fix the error. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, post a comment to let us know. Thank you for watching and good luck!